Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how I approach when I lab situations. Hopefully, this gives an insight the thought process behind each step. I'll be showing you this scenario from Gordos 236C. Normally, if you block it, Gordos 236C is plus 5 on block. But if you shield it, it's plus 2 on block. So what you can do is that, in order to get out of this situation, you can backdash from the 5A. But you risk getting opened up by Godo 2C, which can catch back dash. So the Biakia player might think, maybe I should just use 5A to trade with Godo 2C. This works because Godo 2C is 8 frames that up, and after EX Portal Slide shielded, it's plus 2 on block. Meaning that Godo 2C will start up in 6 frames, and Biakia's 5A is also 6 frames. So this creates a 50-50 scenario after EX Moto Slide. In the sense that if the Byakuya player thinks that Gordo will 5A, he can backdash out of it. And if he thinks that Gordo will 2C to catch backdash, he will 5A to trade with the 2C. But what if the Gordo decided that he doesn't want to deal with this 50-50 and he wants to get his turn guaranteed? So he goes to the training board and found out that he can actually 5A to 3C to option select the backdash. And even better, the Godo player finds out that he can 5A to 5B and through the hit stop of 5B he can make it so that 3C doesn't come out on block. So what does this mean? It means that the Godo player has successfully dealt with the 50-50 scenario and the Byakuya has no choice but to sit down and block. Of course the Byakuya can use fill off to deal with this scenario since Gordo's 3C will come out when 5A whiffs, so he cannot option select the view off. But since the Gordo player knows this, he can bait out the view off and then he can punish you very badly. Since back dash is covered and view off and reversal supers are very dangerous, the uh, Byakuya concludes that he has no choice but to deal with the command grab mix-up. So how do you deal with the tech troll setups? And the uh, Byakuya player decides that the best way is to use fuzzy jump to block both the 5A and jump the command grab. Since Storm 4A is really slow, he can do a very delayed jump to, and still be able to jump the command grab. To deal with this fuzzy jump timing, the Godo player has to alter the, his offense a bit so that he can catch the fuzzy jump. Or he can option select the troll wave into Green Ripper so that when the troll is jumped, the Green Ripper will come out and catch the jump. But then since the Godo wants to catch the fuzzy jump by doing a delay attack, this opens him up to being mashed out by 5A. But this is just one scenario and this this tech is character specific. This doesn't work on Wagner at all. Wagner can just backdash out the 3C option select since the 3C doesn't reach. But then, if he option selects with Green Reaper, it will catch the backdash. So, it's very important to know which options you can and cannot do against a certain character. And this concludes the video. Basically, it's just using trial and error so that you'll be able to find the best option for each scenario. So, I hope this helps and you learn something from it.